Welcome to Z Programming Tutorials. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I would uh, recommend that you do so. Our, um, today's tutorial, we are going to learn about the, about how to write two files. In the previous tutorials, we have learned to how to open and close files. So these these are basically you know all the tutorials for now are are, are kind of series dealing with how to manipulate, uh, create, manage files basically um, so <coughs> let's get started so in our previous tutorials we learned that we whenever we have to deal with files we have to create a pointer to file uh, like this one here file is a standard you know type uh, it's basically a file descriptor and you have to create a pointer to it and you can name it whatever you want we call it p file here and then what you do is you open the file right um, using this function f open f open function takes the name of the file and then the mode of the file um, here the name I have specified is abc.txt you can specify whatever you want and and mode is actually the uh, a small string just one character or two characters or maybe three characters which will specify uh, what mode you want to f the file to open so depending upon what your needs are if you want to f read from the file only then you open it as you put the R in the mode if you want to write to it um, you put W if you want to append to it you put A if you want to read and write both then you write R plus if you want to write read and write both you can write R W plus the difference between the two is that this one is going to recreate a new file um, and then A plus is basically you read and append to the file anyway so we covered all these modes in the previous lecture so just a revision there um, and then if the f op if f open file uh, f open function call was successful in opening this file which uh, by the way since it does not specify the full path you can specify the full path here but since here we are not specifying the full path wherever this program is running from that's where it's going to create that file if you specify the full path like c colon backslash it will basically go and create the file right at over there uh, wherever you specified otherwise it will create the same place where the program is running from and once the f open is able to open this file in this mode successfully it returns a pointer to that file descriptor and we capture it into this variable the pointer variable that we declared there p file and in all the subsequent calls we are going to use p file as our uh, handler or you know to reference to this file the file name is only used in at the time when you are creating the file after that we just keep on using the pointer to the descriptor so we want to keep this around so so one way to check if it was successful or not because if when f open is unsuccessful it returns a null pointer so is one way to check if it was successful or not is to check to see if p file is null or not if it is not null uh, which means if it's not zero uh, then it means that it was successfully able to open the file so any code that we want to do to manipulate that file we have to write here and then when you are done manipulating that file we have to do is to close the file using f close function and all we have to do is to pass that pointer so that it can close that function uh, close that file subsequently we cannot use this pointer without opening the file again if you use it then it will the results are uh, undeterministic and similarly if we if the file pointer was null we will basically come here because you know that's the else case of uh, of this condition if f if file pointer is not equal to null we basically come here and we print this uh, message saying that the we were not able to open the file now in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to write to a file okay and obviously we cannot write to a file until we are able to open the file first so we have to make sure that we have successfully opened the file so this is where we are going to be able to write to a file and in order to write to a file it's very simple um, to a text file it's very simple what you have to do is to use something very familiar that we have been using to output to write to a screen okay so we have been using printf to write to the screen and the syntax of printf is is uh, you you 
write um, a string after that and if and inside this string you could you could specify the format specifiers also like percent %d or percent %c and if you do so then you have to basically follow it with the values or the variable names corresponding to those specifiers in this string we don't have anything else so we just you know write the string this is the information age okay and but this statement is going to print on the screen it's not going to print on the file okay it's very simple to print on the file it, we just use a similar function called fprintf okay and fprintf obviously needs to specify which file you want to write to the printf did not need any file name because there is only one screen so there is no other place to write to or except for that screen but fprintf since you can have multiple files open at the same time uh, you have to specify which file you want to write to and you have how do we specify which file of course again we have to use the file pointer so we use the file pointer and we use the string and if the string has any format specifiers we put commas and then we specify the, all the variable names corresponding to those those specifiers but since in this string we have no format specifier all this string is going to do is to write this message to that file and what file this file and that's why we opened it in w mode or write mode which basically says that you can write to a file and if the file does not exist it will be created and if it exists it will be deleted so you will lose your data if you write on if you'll open it in this mode so you have to make sure that you really this is what you really want you don't want to append or write at the end of the file if you want to write at the end of the file you always use a okay so let's see so let's write w for now and then we will just start the uh, compile the program use f9 and look at what happened here okay I see a blank screen why do I see a blank screen because I never printed anything on the screen because I use f printf f printf is not going to print on the screen if I had used printf it would have printed on the screen so we are not seeing anything on the screen okay so <clears throat> but let's see here this is my you know uh, command prompt and if I go to that location where this uh, this uh, program exists which is the main cpp file right here you can see this is where I have s saved this program c colon backslash dev cpp backslash project 2 and this is where it should have created as you can see there is no such file as abc.txt here and if I do a directory uh, I see this abc.txt right here okay and this was created by this program after executing this program um, and if you want to look at the contents of this pr this file this sh if you want if we want if we look at the contents of this file we should see this is the information age written there right so let's look at, at the contents how do you look at the contents on you know Windows system or DOS kind of system is type and then followed by the name of the file okay and there we go we see that this file has this written this is the information age which we just wrote now what's gonna happen if we if I run this program one more time uh, see nothing happened on the screen but let's look at the let's look at what happened here nothing it's the contents of the file is st are still the same so what happened to this program execution I just ran this program one more time but nothing happened well actually something happened and what that something was when we opened that file it was in we opened it in W mode which is the write mode which basically says that if the file exists it will be deleted so this file which exists before it was deleted and then we wrote this thing again so it was recreated and we wrote this is the information age so it looks like nothing happened because the contents are the same but actually the file was deleted recreated and we wrote uh, this is the information age one more time so if I change this you know this is the computer age and if I run this program one more time what's going to happen now let's look at look at the contents one more time see the contents change why because this old file was deleted when we opened this file and we wrote this is the computer age on this new file 
which happens to have the same name and this is what we see here so we will continue with this f print f in the next uh, uh, in the next video thank you so much